right, so from says real thoughts. So we went to AFI Fest and we watched so many great movies and we're just gonna kind of give you a brief review on most of the films that we watched or the ones that we loved. Uh, starting off with Celine Siama's Girlhood. Right, um, and this is a French movie. Celine Siama directed two previous films, Water Lilies and Tomboy. Tomboy being one of my favorite films of the last couple of years. Um, in English, the, the title is Girlhood, but in French it's Bande de Fille, which like translates to like group of girls or gang of girls, um, which is maybe a more accurate title because it's about um, the protagonist's name is Miriam, but she joins like this group, this gang of girls that are sort of like high school dropouts, and they adopt her and they give her a, a nickname, Vic, and they all have nicknames like cool, like girl gang nicknames, and they have like leather jackets and they sort of go around yeah. and um you know nothing too bad <laughs> number one most favorite um, film of the festival I think yours too yeah um, I love I just love this filmmaker I love everything about this movie I love that it's about uh, girls and it seems like very authentic and truthful about their experiences I love that it's about um, uh, a woman of color and all of the girls it takes place in like Paris like sort of like Parisian projects kind of um, and all the girls in the gang are, are black, um, you know, like immigrants, um, or it's like implied that they're immigrants first generation. Um, and they're sort of like, you know, not succeeding in school and having to deal with like really rough uh, neighborhoods and, you know, all their friends are kind of mm -hmm. on the outs and not really succeeding. And the only way that they can like really grab any power in their life or like form any, any identity is like through these girl gangs and it really is empowering and there are a lot of like scenes where you just like sort of like want to like raise your fist and start you know singing and yeah. I, I really loved it it was great it was very empowering it was moving and there was a lot to dissect in this movie. Yeah, there was like, it was basically everything I loved or wanted in a girl movie, especially a girl gang movie, mm -hmm. from like them singing Rihanna to them kind of beating up other girls or uh, like just causing a bunch of chaos. And I know I've been hearing a lot of complaints because people have been saying that it deviates kind of from its initial plot. Well, part of the, part of the plot is that her older brother yeah. is like kind of abusive and um, her mom is like of like cleaning she's like a cleaning lady and she has two younger sisters mm -hmm. that she needs to um, take care of so there's like no money coming in so Vic has to take this job and it's like with the sketchy like neighborhood drug dealer basically yeah. um, who's like very exploitative and so I think the strength of the film is that you love when the girls are together yeah. so much that you feel their absence like really strongly so in that third act where she's kind of like pulled away from her group and has to go on at, on her own like it does feel like you're really missing something yeah there's like a sense of loss and uh i could understand other people's uh, opinion about how it deviates and i think that's my that was my initial reaction like oh i don't know why it kind of completely went off and did its own thing and created this other story but after the q a uh, after the main character gave her like perspective on her own um character it's explained a lot considering that it seemed like no matter which group she's in she can't she still can't find her own identity and she kind of assimilates to wherever yeah she's, and i think yeah. that it makes sense if you know the, the director's previous yeah. work that Celine Siama is interested a lot in like ideas of gender and sexuality as it as it um, you know uh, corresponds to girls and women. Yeah. There are like queer aspects of girlhood. I wouldn't call it like a queer. Yeah, film I don't. Necessarily, I think it mostly but, deals with her identity yeah, and but it, not it, even it, sexuality but as it, much. It deals like with her like as a like a liminal character, which is like someone who can like doesn't really belong in either world. Yeah. So like Vic is sort of trying to navigate and it's like 
okay, is she... At the beginning of the film, she's, like, neither hyper-masculine or hyper-feminine. Mm -hmm. She's just sort of, like, dressing regular and doesn't really put into a lot of... Mm -hmm. Doesn't put a lot of effort into her own look. So it's a, there are a lot of, like, real, really interesting yeah. ideas about um, gender performance and how dress, like, corresponds to, like, your identity as yeah. a woman. And then also, like, she has this boyfriend who's, like, really sweet. Yeah. And their romance is really sweet, but it's kind of hard for her to like navigate like how she's supposed to feel with him you know i mean i th yeah i think just across the board the story really goes and dissects these grand ideas mm -hmm. and it uh just brings them to the surface and i really love besides like every little aspect of this film i really love the soundtrack because they had a killer soundtrack yeah amazing just really like cool stuff yeah and i think the scene just briefly that most movies like don't take female friendship seriously at all and very rarely are you like allowed to like just have an um an, un un yeah, an un uncut an unfiltered. uncut unedited yeah. shot of like these girls who are like actual teenage girls um just like having really a uh, fun time yeah. you know like with fellow in fellowship with each other and just like singing and um, there are a lot of moments like that in yeah this movie. I love that and especially the cinematography with its like like a turquoise blue mm -hmm. along um, like every scene. Oh, I just yeah, it's, be it's really, beautifully shot. Yeah, yeah, it's super nice and just yeah. There are a lot of like clean. really really long takes that sort of like a sort of force you to like really look mm -hmm. at the the actors and their performances and. Um, it's interesting, I mean, obviously because it's directed by a woman that you have an automatic inversion of like the male gaze because it doesn't really exist in this yeah. film. And you, and there is a one scene where it's like very um, obviously like female gaze, female sort of objectification or sexualization of a male. And that scene is like pretty extraordinary and amazing because you like never see like women sort of like taking charge in terms yeah. of I'm not gonna spoil it, but in terms of like a, a, a sexual situation like that, so I think there's a lot of things to really like about this film, especially. It's if a you're... great movie. Yeah, and yeah. it's a great movie apart from like all of these like political or gender yeah. things. Like you can just watch it and have a really yeah, good time. Really great it's, time. It's like really celebratory, and um, you could just get really invested. It's an amazing character piece, and I want to mention the name of the actress who plays Miriam or Vic is uh, Karanja Touré. Mm -hmm. She's a uh, French actress. I don't think she's like really done anything like this. Yeah, before. I think this might have been her like first performance. I know yeah. she came to the Q and A at AFI Fest, and uh, she like had very short answers. Yeah, because her though, English wasn't great. Yeah, so. I wanted a little bit more, but I'm glad that she actually came and explained her perspective or her take on uh, her performance. Yeah, and incredi everything. an incredibly naturalistic performance. Yeah. That I think you only really get from like an untrained yeah. actor, um, and just. The, the direction of, of, of that actor was just like seamless yeah. and you're just with her the whole way. It's a really extraordinary film. And for like a inexperienced actress, it's quite amazing to kind of get that kind of performance because Absolutely. it's so raw uh, and like in your face. Yeah, and I think this movie comes out in the United States in late January. Okay. So look for it then and definitely, definitely try to see this movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess that's Probably we covered everything about girlhood. Be sure to follow Kristen at her blog. Uh, yeah, salesonfilm.tumblr.com and at salesonfilm on Twitter. And we'll probably po be posting up many more reviews, so watch out for that. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.